Welcome back to Fox Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna explain why Safari might be getting rid of your tabs and how you can manage this feature to keep your keep your tabs open longer. If you've noticed that your Safari tabs are disappearing unexpectedly, it's likely due to an automatic feature designed to help you manage your tabs. So let's dive into the details and how you can control this behavior. The primary reason your Safari tabs are getting removed is an automatic feature that closes tabs after a period of inactivity. This feature is meant to keep your browsing experience organized by closing the tabs that have been open for too long without being used. And this can be convenient for some people, but it can also be frustrating if you don't like what's going on. Fortunately, you can easily manage this feature through the settings on your iPhone. To do this, open the settings app and scroll down until you find the safari section tap on it and get excited get inside the safari settings once you're inside scroll down towards the bottom until you find a section clo called close tabs this is where you can control how long safari keeps your tabs open in the close tabs section you'll see several options like one day one week or one month and even forever these options let you choose how long Safari should wait before closing inactive tabs. And if you prefer to manage your uh, tabs manually, you should have never make them close automatically and just select the option called manually, which is like the forever, you know what I mean? This will prevent Safari from closing your tabs on its own, allowing you to keep them open for as long as you like. Now, if you find that Safari's tab management features aren't meeting your needs, you might as well just consider using a third-party web browser like Google Chrome or Firefox, for example. These third-party browsers have their own settings and features that might better suit your needs, so it's up to you to decide and switching to a different browser can give you more control and it's not that big of a deal. You can just download the app and start using it. So. Yeah, that's just how it works. Make sure to set up the settings as you wish and hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below or do whatever you want and I'll see you in the future.